was sorry to hear about Jim Chapin. Jim, the most intense and devoted drum teacher I've ever met in my long life in the music business. I remember 1948 when his great book first came out. The average drummer shunned away from it. They were too uh, frightened because it was too difficult. Within a few years, they all became devoted to it, wedded to it, and it was to their great profit because his book made such a tremendous change in technique worldwide. I first met Jim as a kid working at our North Quincy factory when he came up to try out uh, some symbols. This was back in 1940 or 1941. He struck me as one of the most intensive type people. Uh, de his devotion was not merely just to drumming, his devotion also was to sound. And as cymbal makers, of course, this made an impression on us. Unfortunately, Jim is no longer with us and with his books and our memories of Jim, we can certainly say this. This is not the end of an era. Jim, Jim, there's no question about it, with his books and his reputation and his students before him, will live on and on forever. Jim, you're still going to be with us for many, many, many years, as long as any drummer lifts a pair of sticks to play. God bless you, Jim. We'll miss you.